Hey guys, I'm Siege Daniel. I'm the co-founder of Simple.Inc. And in this video, I'll show you how to add a weather embed for your dashboard. So many people use dashboards, Notion dashboards, as the central point of their life, I guess, the central point of, of Notion. It's just a nice thing to open your screen to. But without any further ado, um, let's see. I'll be showing two options. So option one is very simple, doesn't require too, too much. And then option two requires just a sign up. So I'll just walk through both of them. I'll link both of uh, these options links in the description. So with number one, we're going to meteorblue.com or just the link in the description. And here, um, if you scroll right here, widget, you've got widget day, widget 3H. You can explore the other ones as well. And um, this is how it looks for the one. But personally, I think widget 3H three hours even though it's not three hours it's showing more than three hours here whatever this looks nicer but for whatever reason you might want to choose something else or you might want to explore uh naturally spend a bit of time if you have to to customize it here detect user location uh maybe you want to remove some stuff so i'm going to remove this just to make it cleaner um maybe even without the forecast no but then what's the point of this anyway once you finish that, all you have to do is copy this. It's an iframe. It's a, there we go. I'm just doing command C on my computer. And once I get here, what I'll do is I'll, I'll type in a slash or you can use the plus. I'll get an embed and command V or control. Should have mentioned control C to copy command V, copy paste. Um, you put that in embed link and that's it. This is how it looks like. You will want to resize it so that it fits properly depending on how your dashboard is going to be like so um if you have some text you you would be able to put it on another column so maybe something like this you can't really really zoom it out but it is a bit responsive in the sense that it it's it's resizing up to degree pro proportionally now i'll just assume i haven't added that specific divider uh when it comes to option number two what i'm going to do is i'm going to indify that ceo now i've already signed up so i can save you some time but if you go here it's going to look like this so first sign up with your email or with google whatever you prefer once you're in what you're going to want to do is click here create widget on weather now i've already created mine but um i guess we can create a new one just to just to save some time and here we are once again customize it if you want to I'll be changing it to metric and fine. Let's keep it to San Francisco. Maybe I want to see the weather in San Francisco. Uh, once you're done, get this. So click on the copy and we'll be doing the exact same thing. So let's just add a bit of space, embed, copy, paste, embed link. And here we are, or here we are going to be once this loads. Oops, that's on me. Is it? No, it actually worked. Right now, something I have to mention is because I'm in dark mode here, this is really a, a caveat, a, a shortcoming. There's no way to automatically make it detect whether you're in um, incognito mode, sorry, not incognito, if, whether you're in dark mode or in light mode. So what you will want to do is you want to switch, not the text color, I mean that as well, um, text color, light mode, text color, dark mode. So you want to ha have to play around with, with these if need be, or just click this dark mode and um, make sure you embed the correct thing. So what I mentioned as a shortcoming was that if you go to settings, if I go now to settings and switch this to, to light right here, now it is going to match the specific one. And look, it is pretty seamless. Um, I might want to do this. Yeah, it's pretty seamless. But if I switch it automatic, if I switch it, it won't automatically get over to to dark mode. So that's when you want a new embed. But anyway, this is how you embed your weather widget. Um, really, you can embed anything that has an iframe. So as an optional, as a supplemental option three, if you are searching for something like uh, weather widget iframe. Uh, and find something. So I've been through a couple of them, but these two would be the number one. Uh, if you go through a couple of them, you find something that looks 
quite like this. So iframe, you don't need to know how to code. That's perfectly fine. Just, it just has to be iframe SRC. Not 100%, but if you don't know what you're doing in terms of code, it's better to, to stick to, to an iframe. Over here, as you can see, this is not an iframe, but Indify has been nice enough to build this for Notion. So ultimately, this is what it boils down to. You can embed any iframe and it will appear quite like this. And uh, yeah, um, these are the two or maybe three options that you have at your disposal. Hope this helped. If it did, check us out, simple.inc. We are a Notion website builder and I won't promo too much. I'll just name drop here. But um, yeah, if you're curious, check us out. Cheers.